What is going on guys? My name is Moyboss and today I have a little uh, how to play. You know, I w just kind of want to go over each character and how they should be played in co-op versus single player. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everyone and thank you to SunnyGamer724. He was my 100th subscriber last night. It means a lot to me guys. Uh, thank you everyone, not just him. He just was the lucky one to be 100. So uh, thank you to him. But now let's get into the actual stuff. So I have some uh, some gameplay of my character Zero as he's biting a fighting a bunch of bandits and stuff, and I just kind of wanted to talk about how I play with them in the solo version compared to co-op. So in solo, I do a lot of work with the sniper and shotgun. I think I've already gone over this, but the main thing is I don't keep any other guns. Like if you look at my inventory, I rarely have anything other than my one shotgun and five snipers for all the elemental. Uh, you know things that I can do like corrosive and shock and all that so I keep different snipers and just one shotgun and that's just kinda like my go-to thing when I run out of ammo it sucks but it happens and that's the one downside to keeping such a small inventory but it also allows me to pick up a lot more guns to get a lot more money and that's the good thing of it but anyways the way I play this is uh, I like to you know, snipe from a distance, but I also like to use the sniper as kind of like an assault rifle, you know? Uh, I don't know if you've ever found one, but a lot of sniper rifles have a really high fire rate in this game, and they also have a pretty big magazine size, and some of them even burst fire, and those are my favorite because those are just like an assault rifle or any other kind of gun where you're aiming down sights. So, it's really easy to just kind of like quick scope, shoot three shots, have them pretty low, and then finish them off with my shotgun or deception. And that's just kind of how I play with uh, my solo character. And you'll kind of see the thing. And I'm very much damage oriented. I mean, you'll find that Zero is definitely a player that likes to deal massive amount of damage. I think he's one of the most damage dealing characters in the entire game. And this kind of contradicts towards co-op. Uh, a lot of you might not play to your class towards team wise. But I like to because it's more fun as a team but I don't have a big team right now or guys that I consistently play with to do the main mission. So it, I just kind of am focusing more on that solo type character build. And I'll talk more about the co-op in a minute. But I wanted to show you kind of how I built, I'd built, i build my class around zero if I wanted to be a solo player. So as everyone knows, Borderlands is up for anybody's personal preference. Uh, it's really cool how they can keep you kind of like getting your personal preference with anything from skins to heads to the skill trees or whatever you do. And that's that's a cool aspect of the game, but if you're really into like the damage dealing solo uh, zero character, then this is just some of my suggestions for what you should use. So what I rock is I always rock the, uh, what's it called? The fast hands because I like to reload faster and it really helps me in situations like if I'm going for a second wind I can get a lot more shots in than if I didn't have it so I really rock the fast hands and then that's just about it for the cutting tree like I don't I don't have anything in the sniping tree I don't really plan on doing much in the sniping tree until the very end of the game but in the cutting tree I just use my fast hands and then I move towards the bloodshed because Everybody knows, even if you're a sniping dominated zero character, it's still hard to keep in those sniping scenarios. I mean, you don't really have a whole lot of room in most of the games, especially boss battles, to just snipe. So you really have to have that one go-to close range gun. And for me, that's always my shotgun. And also, uh, zero has a really good melee. So I really focus on the melee and the shotgun a lot. I try to balance those two things and I'll talk about that here in a second. So in the bloodshed I use the killing blow. It's really easy to like three piece kids, you know, two shots with a shotgun, one knife, he's done. I don't have to worry about reloading again and taking care of him. So that's really nice for me. I also use be like water and that kind of ties into the three piece. You know, I'll shoot him twice with my shotgun. I'll have a bonus for my melee attack so it'll do even more damage alongside the killing blow. So I really like that aspect of it. And then as I progress through the skilling, the uh, bloodshed tree, I have execute, which it makes my melee even more de devastating in deception. 
and follow through, which kind of increases my movement speed, melee damage, and gun damage. So I'm really trying to increase that shotgun blast and that melee attack so I can get them in as few shots as possible. Because like I said, I run out of ammo a lot, and that really, it, it hurts, and it's it's sad because I don't really have much else, so I, it, I don't know what to do. I just kind of pick up a gun off the ground and use it. And then as I go through, I'm going to get Resurgence, the, like the wind, and the only reason I'm getting those really is the many must fall, because that allows me to use deception multiple times if I kill someone with melee, and like I said, I'm big into the melee, I'm big into the shotgun, so it shouldn't be really hard to uh, use that, and to have multiple deceptions is just going to be awesome. And I might round it out with boar from the sniping tree, just because I think that's a really cool idea. Or I might just go with the Unforeseen, which is a holographic decoy that allows shock damage. Um, so now let's talk about the co-op part of it. Zero has a lot of, or not very many co-op opportunities, actually. He has a few things, but just not really that much. He's more of a damage-dealing solo player, in my opinion. And that's really should be what he's played as, but... Uh, a lot of people are using them because of that damage dealing. So if you have like a gang of zeros, then it's pretty devastating. One on one, it's going to be hard to beat any of those players. But if you are going for the team oriented zero, you want to stick more to the cunning and less to the bloodshed. The bloodshed is important for those melee attacks and increasing like your deception and stuff. But overall, the cunning, uh, it allows you to throw those kunai and everything else. And also your holographic decoy can do shock damage which is really cool and really useful against um, anybody with big crowds with shields or anything like that so that's pretty cool and uh, you can also if you're going into like a team oriented you might want to stick to sniping more but like the difference between that is like zero only has one or two things that really are co-op oriented while he has many solo play opportunities to like increase his damage and stuff one of those things for the co-op is death mark, which is going to make it so the enemy that's death marked takes more damage. So that's really that's really about it. I mean, there are, there's a few more things, but really not that much. He's really more of a solo player. And if you go the sniping route, definitely get boar. I, I can't trust the importance of that. I, it looks so cool. Um, I just want it because it looks cool. And that's it, basically. But, um... Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little how to play and maybe, I don't know, uh, you'll take some of my suggestions. If not, that's fine. I mean, the game's open to anybody's interpretation. You can play it any way you want. There will be more to come on uh, all the other characters in Borderlands, so just watch out for that. And um, it'll definitely be a little more in-depth between the co-op and the solo plays. Zero is definitely a solo play guy, so I'll focus more on that today. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this or any other of my commentaries. Don't forget to like this video especially. It really helps my channel. It helps people to see it. And uh, it helps me bring better content to you guys. Because I know you're enjoying what I'm putting out. So have a great day guys. Enjoy the rest of your night, day, whatever it is where you're at. Peace.